Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying towards your grade seven, your grade eight or your grade nine. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hey guys, I thought I should uh, bring across you one question that looks uh, sometimes simpler but some uh, might struggle solving it. It says, in this case, it's dealing with factors and prime factors as the topic. And in this, it says, write down all the factors of 28. That's the first part of the question. And then the second part says, then write down the prime factors of 28. So when they say then here means after you have managed to get the factors from those factors, consider the prime factors of 28. So when we're talking about factors of 28, we are talking about numbers that can divide into 28 without leaving a remainder. So we are looking at only numbers that can divide into 28 and those numbers must not leave a remainder. Whenever you are looking at these, you must always start from the first number that you know, not zero, but you must always start from one but one usually is not considered a factor so leave out one okay let's include one for the sake of everything let's include one in this case but one is not a factor so i'm going to include it and scratch it out but it works later in your prime factors so let us look at the first one it says write down all the factors all of them meaning do not leave out any one of them so if they're talking about that let us look at numbers that can go or that can divide into 28 without leaving a remainder so whenever you're given such a question and if they say write all the factors here meaning don't leave out any one of them so um you have to consider your normal counting we start with one as i said but leave out one for the sake of I mean, let's, let's include one for the sake of argument. So we know that one can go into 28. Now, the next number that can go into 28 if we're counting is two. You can, you can tell that two into 28 or 28 divided by two is 14. So two can go into 28. Now, it's your multiple tables, uh, multiple tables that is uh, being tested here. Now, three, can three go into 28? If you're doubting, you check with your calculator to say, 28 here divided by 3 if it leaves a remainder like this it is not then you try 4 28 divided by 4 you can see that it is giving you 7 it means uh, 4 is a what not 7 now but 4 remember we're counting from 1 so 1 does go through 2 does go through 3 does not but 4 goes through and five is a definite one five cannot go through what about six if you're doubting if your time if you're not good with your times table your calculator is uh, in this case your 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 go to so you try six and say 28 divided by six it leaves a remainder then you try seven 28 divided by seven you can see that it's four now if we use seven so we have our seven there so four and seven together they are that and then the next one you try eight you say 28 divided by eight it's a remainder you try nine 28 divided by nine you know keep on trying 10 is to totally out 28 divided by 11 you know you keep on trying them but if you know your times table whatever for example when i say it, 28 divided by 2 you see that when with a 2 i got a 14 so you must also see that 14 is 
which is the half of 28 is the last factor of 28 so these are the factors you can't go above 14 because 14 is the middle number so these are the prime factors i mean these are the factors just factors so now the second part of the question says then write down the prime factors of 28 now what is a prime factor a prime factor is a number which can only be divided by one and itself so in the first one when i said factors i said we are going to remove two for your answers you are going to leave this as your factors it starts from two you remove the one but you remember that i did erase a one when we start dealing with prime factors you start saying one is the prime factor because a prime factor is a number that can be divided by one and itself meaning there is no other number that can divide into that particular number so one can be divided by one and itself now we try two two can be divided by one and itself so in this case even our two is a prime number why because two can be divided by one and itself now you try four four can be divided by one it can be divided by two it can be divided by four so the more the moment there is more than one number it means it is not a prime number the next one is seven seven can be divided by one and no other number except itself so seven also falls under prime numbers and then 14 can be divided by one by two by seven and by 14 meaning if it's more than one it's more than two numbers it is not a prime number so in this case the prime numbers of 28 are one two and seven so these becomes the prime numbers meaning um, these are the numbers from the factors from these factors I get the prime factors of that so that is how you could have approached it I hope this was of benefit to you thank you